Hello, hello. How are you today, guys? Hello, teacher. How's everything? Hello. Good. Good, good, good. All right. So, um, all right. It's just give me a minute right here. All right. Um, I'm just trying to fix my light here. <laughs> all right. So, um, all right, guys. So, thank you for being here once again. You know, we are in the class once again. So, today is going to be the second day of our um, uh, week, you know. And so, um, I just want to remind you guys, uh, like, if you know, a friendly reminder. ¿Pueden escucharme bien? No, no me escucho como cortado ahora. ¿Sí, todo bien? Está bien. Sí, Good. escuchamos bien. Awesome. Todo bien, todo bien. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, guys. Um, So, you know, I'm happy that you guys are here once again. And, uh, you know, today what we are going to be doing is that we are going to continue uh, with the section number four. And yesterday... We were talking about a couple of different things. Uh, what things were we talking about? Well, um, we were talking about um, uh, clothing, uh, you know, clothes and colors, right? Uh, eso es lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Hablábamos de los colors and clothing, right? La, la ropa, right? That's basically what we were talking about yesterday. So, um. With that being said, uh, I just want to, uh, let me see, da -da 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 -da. give me a second, give me just a second here. All right. With that being said, guys, um, that's pretty much what we are going to be doing. Um, and give me, give me a minute, give me just a minute here. Okay. But I don't know, guys, if you have any question or anything you guys want to say before we continue. Si tienen alguna pregunta, algún comentario, algo que quisieran decir antes que continuemos, before we continue. Questions? No? ¿Qué semana es la que tenemos ahorita que no entendí en lo que me mandaron? Porque me dijeron que tenía que tener el la sección 4 y la sección 5. Entonces, para esta semana tengo que tener hasta la 5. Based on what I know, it's just 4. Based on what I know. So, it should be just section 4. It will be about section, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is actually... um, This is actually the... Is it the third week? Um, yeah, mm -hmm. so, y vamos a terminar el level el 13, así que sí, ahorita, en la primera semana vimos dos secciones, one and two, la segunda vimos three, y esta estamos viendo, ah, perdón, uh, one and two, la segunda vimos la three, ahorita estamos, estamos en la tercera week, y estamos viendo la four, y entonces para la siguiente semana, eh, vamos a estar viendo la number five. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what it is. That's what I know. Unless they change anything and they didn't let me know, but I don't think that's that's what it is. But yeah, so by this this week we are working in section number four. That's what we're doing. Okay. Um all right. So any other question, guys? No? No more questions. Okay, just to start with the with the class. Actually, I would like to take the the attendance right now before, uh, before we start. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna call your names, guys. Let's see. So, uh, Aaron Omar, are you here? Okay. What about Ada Lisset? Okay. 
Um, what about Ana Beatriz? Let me see. I got a rated people here. All right. So, um, what about Ana Esmeralda? Present. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Remember, you can just say present or you can say I'm here and that'll be cool. So then I will know that you're here in the class. All right. So uh, let's go with uh, Ana Noemi. Right. Carlos Vladimir. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Rosario. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Elida Maritza. Okay, let's go with Flor de Maria. Present. Thank you so much. Um, give me a second here. Okay, then we go with uh, Jasmine Magdalena. Joana Guadalupe. Jonathan Alexander. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Jose Ismael. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank Jose you. Salvador. I'm here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, Catherine Tatiana. Here. Uh, Kenny Guadalupe. I'm here. Marilyn Yvonne. Marlene Concepcion. Present. Thank you. Marvin Omar. Uh, Nidia Jamile. Present. Nixia Ivin. Present. Omar Luzardo. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Reina Lisette. Present. Ricardo Alfonso. Rosario Cristabel. Present. Wilber Enrique. Yesenia Abigail. Present. And Selena Elizabeth. Disculpe. No, me mencionó a mí. What's your name? Sorry. Rebeca Beatriz Rosales Segovia. Thank you, Rebeca. All right. Buenas noches. Igual a mí también no me mencionó. Really? What's your name? Jasmin Pineda. Sí, sí la mencioné. No. Sí, Jasmin Magdalena. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Sí, sí la mencioné. No me escucho. <ríe> ok. Uh, Gracias. Con... Mi teacher. Rebeca. Mi teacher. Who? Who is me? ¿Quién es mí? <ríe> What's your name? Sorry. Joana. <ríe> Joana Guadalupe. Sí, también la mencioné, pero no estaba. <ríe> Sorry. Right. Ok. So... I think we're good. Okay, the rest of you, you're here. All right. Um, okay, pretty good. All right, guys. Now, listen. Uh, as we were talking today, we are going to be, um, I will say, like, um, working uh, still with the same things we were doing. I mean, not exactly the same things, but we're going to be working with a couple of different things. Now, um, if you guys remember, and let me share my screen right here. If you guys remember, um, yesterday, uh, we were talking about, uh, you know, uh, colors. You know, we were asking the questions like, uh, what's your favorite color? What are your favorite colors? You know, and we were talking about clothing as well, you know, like the clothes, right? like jeans, uh, pants, you know, uh, cap, 
uh, well, basically everything that we have right here. So that is what we were doing yesterday. And you guys know, and you guys remember that we have clothes for, um, I would say for work or clothes for warm weather and clothes for uh, cold weather. So that's pretty much what we were talking about uh, yesterday, right? That's what we were talking about yesterday. And uh, that's, I mean, what we're going to be doing today and uh, this following days it's actually related to that. Um, why? Uh, because we are going to be using that vocabulary and all that things for next um, for the next topic that we're going to be uh, discussing or talking about today. And if you were able to uh, study this a little bit, you could have noticed what it is. Okay. This is where we stopped yesterday, right? And this is where we are going to continue. So, um, you know, our adjective right here is this one. In this class, you will learn how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things, okay? So, to describe belongingness uh, of the things, right? That's what we are going to be doing. So I'm going to play um, a video right here and I want you to pay attention, please. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to- Can you listen to that? Yes. Use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possessives that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is 
you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. Okay, I just want to interrupt right here for a little bit. Now, uh, in order to understand this a little better, uh, I just want to mention something here. Do you remember the subject pronouns? Yes? Which are the subject pronouns? Who knows them? Mm -hmm. Who knows these subject pronouns? Nobody? Maybe. You know mm -hmm. We, they. Uh huh. It starts with I, you, he, she, it, we, do, they. Those are called subject pronouns. Eso se llaman los subject pronouns, okay? Now, well, after that, we have the possessive adjectives. Y después de eso, nosotros tenemos los possessive adjectives. Okay, los possessive adjectives, como ya nos dijeron, nos ayudan a demostrar posesión, okay, of something. And we have, for I, we will have my, for you, we will have your, for he, we will have his. For her, we'll have her. For we, we have our. And for they, we have their. Okay. And then we have the pronouns. The uh, possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns. And this is what I want you to know. The possessive pronouns. Bueno, así es simple vista. ¿Cuál es la diferencia que pueden ver entre los adjectives, possessive adjectives y possessive pronouns? Who can tell me that? Mm -hmm. Any difference? There's one difference. If you notice... Si sí, se... llevan S, la mayoría al final. Ok, ok. And los possessive pronouns, yeah, they take S at the end. Good job, yes. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Esa es una diferencia. Ahora, en cuanto al uso, si ustedes ven acá tenemos these are his socks. ¿Dónde va el, adjective, el possessive adjective? Va después del verbo to be, after the verb to be, y antes del noun que está modif modifying, que está modifying. So, this is acting as a possessive adjective of socks. Entonces, está actuando como un adjetivo posesivo de socks, porque acá puedo decir, yo bien puedo decir solo, these are socks, estos son calcetines, ok, pero si yo quiero demostrar posesión, entonces ahí uso un possessive adjective acá, y ahora ya el possessive adjective, adjective está modificando socks, ahora es, these are his socks, ya no es, estos son calcetines, ahora es, estos son sus calcetines, o los calcetines de él. Okay. Y luego con, lo, con hair, por ejemplo, these are hair socks. Ya no es estos son calcetines, sino que ahora es estos son los calcetines de ella, right? So that's what it is. So that's basically what we do. Um, okay. Otra cosa, y ahorita la, probablemente la explique acá, es que entonces siempre va a ir la posición, va a ser aquí. Y ahora los possessive pronouns. Pero me dice, teacher, pero prácticamente significan lo mismo porque los dos demuestran posesión. Sí, pero uno es adjective y el otro es pronouns. Entonces, ¿cómo voy a hacer cuándo usar cuál, teacher? Bueno, mire, al final los possessive pronouns, perdón, los possessive pronouns siempre van a ir al final. Por ejemplo, these socks are hers. Estos calcetines son de ella. ¿okay? Van a ir al final. Después del verb to be, after the verb to be, or sometimes, o incluso algunas veces, podrían comenzar 
oraciones. ¿Por qué? Porque son pronouns. Y los pronouns comienzan oraciones, right? Let's keep going. Vamos a seguir watching the video. Después I'm going to um, give you a couple of more examples, okay? This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object, I'm going to grade out. And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black the black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. Okay, now let me just go back Should here and S. dress okay. is here. hers. His computer is white. All right. The computer is white. Now, this is what I want to explain to you guys. And this is where you have to pay attention. Now, my car is black. What is the object here? What are we talking about? We're talking about my car. Okay. So then we say, my car is black. Pero acá, we say, the black car is mine. Es como ponerlo al revés. El carro. Uh, negro es mío, right? Y aquí es como decir, mi carro es negro, right? It's just changing the opposite. So when you are going to put the object here at the beginning of the sentence, then you have to use a possessive pronoun. But when you are not going to put it at uh, the beginning necessarily, then you can use a possessive adjective. For example, my wife's dress is blue, okay? The object, it's right here at the end, está al final. So that's why, por eso, we use a possessive adjective. 
But in this case, we have the blue dress is hers. Where is the object? Ahora lo tenemos acá al principio, at the beginning. So then we have to use a possessive pronoun. The blue dress is hers. Okay. Do you have a question about this? I know it's kind of, I would say, like a little um, challenging, but I don't know if you have a question about this. You can ask my wife dress is blue. Uh, that's like saying my wife's wife is esposa. Okay. Ahora bien, el apóstrofe y la S acá nos está denotando también posesión. Es como decir de el vestido de este apóstrofe y la S significa de mi esposa es azul. Mm -hmm. Is blue. I'm going to explain that a little bit more, but um, just in a minute. Mm -hmm. Besides that, besides a uh, possessives right here with the apostrophe and the S, do you have any other question? No more? Okay. All right, I think we don't have any more questions. Okay, now, this is the thing, guys. Um, we have possessions with the apostrophe and the S. Okay, and let me just move this down here. Okay, this is what we have uh, possessions with apostrophe and the S. So, what we do is, like, say, this, I can say, this is a Jose, Jose's uh, car, for example. So that's how we can make it. This is Jose's car. Okay, este es el carro de Jose. So the apostrophe and the S, esta apostrophe y la S, nos demuestra possession. Porque bien pudiéramos decir también. This is the car of Jose. Pero dicen, pero dirían ustedes, teacher, pero qué hueva decir todo eso. No, eso no lo voy a decir. Entonces, usted dice, this is, what am I doing here? This is, entonces, para evitarse decir todo esto así de largo, Usted viene y usa apostrophe y s, que es, con, uh, que es para demostrar posesión, es como decir de. Ok, y ya decimos, this is Jose's car. Ya no decimos, this is the car of Jose. No, we don't say that anymore. We just say, this is Jose's car. Now, be careful with this. ¿Qué tal con los nombres que terminan en s? ¿Qué hacemos? Uh, voy a decir. Uh, these are Lucas um, pen, mm, red pen, Lucas red pen. Okay, ¿qué hacemos acá? Termina con S. Agregamos apostrophe S. What do you think? No? Yeah. No. We just add the apostrophe. Entonces, con los nombres que terminan En S, solo vamos a agregar el apóstrofe. Y ya estamos diciendo D. These are Lucas red pen. Sorry, pens. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. And that's basically what we do. So, any question about this? Is it a little clear now? What do you think? Mm -hmm. No, yes, could it be? Alguna pregunta, chicos? Any question right there? No? In my case, it is a little bit confused, and I think the other as well. I'm sorry. Uh, can you say that again, please? In my case, it's a little bit confused, and mm -hmm. I think the other as well, because 
nothing in the uh -huh. yeah i know i know it's a little confusing um by the way guys it just started raining um so you let me know if you can listen to me okay uh bueno sí entonces yo les puedo decir ustedes fíjense en el objeto por ejemplo si el objeto va a ir al principio acá entonces tenemos que eh, tenemos que usar un possessive adjective eh, perdón si si va a ir acá como al final por ejemplo pero si el, el objeto del que nosotros estamos hablando va like at the beginning o de lo que estamos hablando al, al principio entonces ahí tenemos que usar un possessive pronoun y otra de las cosas que les decía ¿Cómo sé cuándo usar un possessive pronoun y cuándo usar un possessive adjective? Bueno, es lo que les mencionaba justo ahorita. Pero también acuérdense, los possessive pronouns van a ir al final. O probablemente también puedan, puedan um, comenzar una oración. ¿Por qué? Porque es un pronoun, es un possessive pronoun. ¿Ok? El, y la otra cosa es que Uh, los possessive adjectives, ellos siempre van a ir, um, I would say, after, in this case, the verb to be. And before, y antes que el noun que están modificando, el noun that they are modifying. Let's do something. Hagamos algo. Let's do something. And this is what I have planned, actually, for today's class. Um, let's work on the practice right here. Let's go to the 4.6 knowledge check. Let's work it out. And it says, complete the conversations with the correct words. Okay? So, it's actually, what? Like four, uh, two and two, it's like eight. Eight exercises. So, let's do something. Work on this. I'm going to give you a few minutes. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que puedan trabajar en esto. Y luego lo vamos a ir revisando uno por uno. Y vamos a ir viendo por qué la respuesta es esta y por qué no la otra, ¿ok? So, I'm going to give you five minutes. Five minutes. You can work it out on your devices, ¿ok? On your computer, your cell phone, ¿ok? And let me know if you have a question, please. Questions? Is it clear? ¿Estamos claros ahí? ¿Lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Yeah. Yes. Raise your virtual hand whenever you finish, okay? Levanten su manita virtual cuando hayan terminado para que podamos comenzar a revisar. So we can start checking. Please, please. 
Okay, I have one person there. Okay, thank you. Teacher, una pregunta. Este, yo ayer no pude conectar porque tenía problemas con la red, igual que hasta hace un momento también. Y justamente cuando logré entrar, eh, oí que mencionó mi nombre cuando, cuando empezaba a pasar lista. Y este, cuando quise responder, me sacó la aplicación de nuevo. No sé si me alcanzó a escuchar o, o no. Sí, yo lo logré ver, tranqui. A, a soy. Uh -huh. A soy. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, gracias. Yeah, no, don't worry. I know it happens. You know, technology is crazy sometimes. <laughs> okay, guys, one more minute. <laughs> uh huh. What was your question? No, you get Okay, so I think we can start checking this right here, okay? So um, I'm gonna ask people uh, to help me in the order that they raise their hands, okay? So Omar Luzardo, uh, do me a favor, help us with number one, please. Read this part A and also part B, okay? Okay, uh, only number one? Just number one, yes. Okay. Uh, hey, is this Jennifer hot? No, it's not. Her, it's mine. Continue. Okay, yes, thank you so much. All right, so it says, is this Jennifer's hot? No, it's not hers. It's mine, okay? Why? Okay, well, <laughs> that is because right here it says, is this Jennifer's hot? It says, no, it's not hers. Como ven acá, tenemos el object at, at the beginning, al principio, entonces, porque estamos hablando de it, del hot, ¿verdad? It. Entonces, por eso, nosotros tenemos que usar un possessive pronoun, porque va al final. It's not Hers. Y aquí también, it's la misma cosa. Tenemos it, que se, se, se refiere al hat. Entonces, por eso lo tenemos al principio. Eso significa que tenemos que usar un possessive pronoun. Right? No, it's not hers. It's mine. So, number two, Catherine, help us, please. Okay. Are these your gloves? Uh -huh. Are these your gloves? Yes, this right here. Why? Because, you know, we are talking about 
the gloves and the gloves are right here at the end. Y como están al final, entonces no podemos usar el objeto del que estamos hablando, los objetos están al final, entonces no podemos usar un possessive pronoun. ¿Por qué? Because the possessive pronouns, they go at the end. Y aquí este lugar ya está ocupado, ya está gloves. ¿Ok? So are these your gloves? Correct. Uh, Jonathan, Guillén, help us with number, uh, with the next one here, uh, this one. No, they're not my, mine gloves, let's a sky Sally. Okay, no, they're not my Asks. or mine. What do you think? Mm -hmm. My. My. Why? Mismo caso. Same, same case here. So that is, no, they're not my gloves. All right. Now let's go with the next one right here. And this is going to be, si en algún momento tienen una pregunta, pueden hacerla. If you have any question at any moment, you can ask me. Okay, volunteers for this one? Okay, Kenny, help us, please. Yeah. Sorry, can you say that again? Kenny, can you say that again, please? Uh, yes, yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Uh, maybe they're here below. Okay, maybe they're hair gloves. Okay, y aplicamos otra vez. El object es gloves y el object ya está al final. Entonces, tenemos que usar un possessive adjective. ¿Y cuál es el possessive adjective de estos dos? Hair, right? As we can have it here, as we can see, como pueden ver también, okay? Here we have the objects, okay? And we have Cada uno de los possessive adjectives tiene un possessive pronoun, okay? Por ejemplo, my, mine, your, yours, his, his. Same thing. Her, hers. Our, ours. Their, theirs. Right? Each of those has a, uh, an equivalent, como un equivalente, right? An equivalent to that. Okay? So that is the reason why we're going like that. Um... Okay, now let's go with the next one. Three, any volunteer? Thank you, Joanna, help us. Those, these shirts are these, no, are this, are they Yuli and Pat? Mm -hmm. And that is actually a question, right? Who's, like say, the quien, right? Who's? Uh, t-shirts are this. Are they Julius or Pat's? Y aquí esto también es como decir, are they Julius? Es como decir, son de Julia. Acá tenemos el de, miren, de, de Julia o de Pat, right? ¿Se acuerdan que el apostrofe la es? Significa de, right? Are they, are this, are they Julius or Pat? And so then we go with whose. Number three, uh, once again, the next one, any volunteer? I have a question. Okay. Uh, we will go with Consuelo after this. And in the meantime, Catherine, tell me, what's your question? Okay. In the, in the, mm -hmm. in this, um, why and is writing in day and Julius in path? Because and we are using two verb, two subjects, I think. 
No. Mm -hmm. That's a very because... nice question. Thank you for asking that question. Uh, but no, it's not regarding people. Actually, podemos usar el they para referirnos a cosas en plural también. Mm -hmm. Así que muy buena pregunta. Por ejemplo, este they no se está refiriendo a Julia ni a Pat, sino estamos hablando de qué? De las t-shirts. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Are they Julia and Pat? Así que sí. They can be used with things as well, with plural things, with a plural of things. Uh -huh. Okay. Good question. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Consuelo, help us, please. No, they not. They are the chair. The chair. The chair is there. The shirts. Mm -hmm. The shirt. <laughs> yes. No, they're not. They're the shirts. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will be. <coughs> Sorry. It will be there. Okay. No, they're not. They're t shirts. Ahora bien, fíjense que acá. Podemos decir, no, they're not their t-shirts. Si de casualidad no tuviéramos acá el t-shirts y solo tuviéramos este espacio, pudiéramos eliminar t-shirts y decir, no, they're not theirs. No, no son de ellos, right? Mm -hmm. Pero en este caso, we have there, so we can put it right here. Y porque el object del que estamos hablando está al final, entonces por eso necesitamos usar un Possessive, ¿qué? Possessive adjective. Entonces, recuérdense, si el objeto, el object del que estamos hablando está al final, usted tiene que usar un possessive adjective. Pero si el object del que se está hablando está al principio, entonces ahí usted tiene que usar un possessive pronoun. Like, like in this case. Mire, el objeto del que estamos hablando, acá no hay nada. Entonces, acá lo vamos a sustituir por el possessive pronoun. Porque está tomando el, la posesión, está tomando el lugar de ese object as well. So, um, number three, let's go with anyone else, any other volunteer? Volunteers? No? ¿Qué les pasa? ¿Ustedes hablan? ¿Qué pasa? No sean tímidos. Este es un lugar seguro. No pasa nada. <laughs> ok. Let's go with José and then with José. <laughs> José Ismael. And then with José Salvador. Ok. So, José Ismael, help us with number three right here. Your, your microphone is off. Sorry. Um, this Short are jute. But these Jures. socks are yours. There or theirs. Ah, estoy viendo la... Yeah, it's it's this one, this one, sorry. This one here. Mm -hmm. No la no la but but that but that suit are both this. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Cho there so or theirs. Um, there, there is, con S. Theirs, theirs. Es, es lo mismo, solo que con S al final. There, theirs. Mm -hmm. okay. There, theirs. Ok. All right. So it says, but these socks are theirs. Good job. Yes. Why? Because it, at the beginning, at the last I'm sorry, at the end, there's nothing. No hay nada al final, así que there's, right? So, Jose Salvador, help us with this one. And these shorts are yours. And these shorts are? Yours. Yours, yes, good job. Possessive pronoun. Okay, now let's go with Nixia. Help us with number four, please. Hey, these are not clothes. Oh. oh. Okay. Hey, these are not our or ours. Our. 
our. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is our not our clothes. Our clothes. Why our? Because we have clothes at the end and we don't have to put an object. I'm sorry, a possessive pronoun at the end because we get the object here. Okay. And the last one, volunteer for the last one. Okay, Carlos, help us. You're right. Ours are over there. Good job. You're right. Ours are over there. Why ours? Because as I said, the object pronouns, they can actually finish a sentence or start a sentence. Those are those, uh, los, yeah, I'm sorry, I said possessive pronouns, my bad. Possessive pronouns, they can start a sentence or they can finish a sentence. And in this case, they are starting a sentence. You're right. Ours are over there. But we have an antecedent, pero tenemos un antecedente acá. So that's why we can do it like that. So I don't know if you guys have a question about this. Questions about this right now? No? Clarito, como el cafecito? Yes? <laughs> no? No questions or yes questions? Okay. So I believe that we don't have any question. So let's do something here. Give me a second. Okay. All right. So if you guys don't have any question, we will continue right now and we will go with the next thing that we're next topic i will say we're talking about uh you know it says in this class you will become familiar with the weather seasons okay and that's what we are talking about today so uh i'm gonna play the video right here and so i need you to guys to just pay attention and try to listen okay hi everyone in this class you'll become familiar with the weather seasons and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation, It's Very Cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Okay, now this is what we are going to be talking about right here. Um... Okay, now this is the next thing. We're talking about the weather, the weather and seasons. Now, uh, right here, it says it's a sprint in Brazil, you know? And normally in a sprint, it's kind of warm and it's very sunny, you know, like a lot of sun, right? That's sunny, okay? And it's warm, como calientito, right? Como not, not cold, not fresh, but warm. And then it's summer in Korea. For any reason, who has been in Korea before? Have you been in Korea before? Han ido a Korea ustedes? 
alguien para que me diga si es verdad que, que en Corea en el verano llueve. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know. I mean, I just don't know. I mean, that's what it says here. I mean, I just don't know anything about it. Uh, pero eso es lo que dice, así que hay que confiar. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. That's what they do right there. They have rain on, on summer. That's what they say. So, um, all right. So that's pretty much what it is, guys. No, let me see. What happened here? It just messed up. Okay, but we have like four seasons. We have winter, summer, spring, and fall. Okay, we have four seasons. Now, which is the season that we are at right now here in El Salvador? What season are we at? We are in what? Fall, spring, winter, or summer? Winter. We are in winter, actually. Mm -hmm. We are in winter. That's where we are at today. I mean, right now, I mean, like right now it's raining here at home, you know? So that's what we have, okay? We have spring, summer, fall, and winter. I mean, really, I will say that here in El Salvador, probably we just have like two. I will say like we have the winter and uh, summer, you know? I mean, we do have fall and little spring, but it's not as in the other countries, right? Um, But yes, that's what it is. So it's raining, like right now it's raining. Está? What? Lloviendo. It's raining right now. It's hot, you know, like hot, right? And humid. Then we have fall. And it says, it's cool. Cool, no es solo cool, de ser cool, sino también es como fresco, okay? All right? So por eso, uh, usted le pueden decir, hey, you're cool. Le pueden decir, hey, sos, sos cool. Es como decirle, sos Tranquilo, sos fresco. <laughs> right? So it means the same thing, okay? It can mean the same thing. And then it says, it's cloudy and windy. Cloudy viene de cloud. That means nublado. Y windy de wind, que es el viento. Si hay bastante viento, sería como ventoso, right? So like a lot of wind, you know, like, and you know all that, right? Yeah, I know. I didn't want to say that, but Catherine, behave, please. Okay, uh, <laughs> comportese. <laughs> All right, it's snowing. It's very cold. It's snow. Viene snowing, viene de snow. Okay, and so what it is, is nevando. It's very cold. Cold means, como? Hela, uh, helado, right? No helado este, sino que está helado. <laughs> que está bien fuerte, right? That's what it means. So, right here, it's very cold. Okay, uh, that's pretty much what we have here. So, any question about this, guys? No? No. Are you sure? Seguras? Yeah. Yes? Okay. No problem. So, now, what are the seasons in your country, guys? What are the seasons here in El Salvador? It's raining. A spring, okay. Or what did you say? Yeah, you say that? Uh -huh. What are the, the seasons? ¿Cuáles serían las, las seasons here in El Salvador? The four of them, or two, or I don't know. Spring, summer, summer. Uh huh. Yeah. We are summer and winter. I will say so. I will say that we just have two. That's my personal opinion. Okay, that's my personal opinion. I will say that we kind of have just winter and summer. I mean, we do have a little spring, you know, November. And, I mean, a fall of November and all that. But, eh, you know, we might have a little spring, but it's not as common as in, uh, or as noticeable as in other countries. Okay. Now, I want to ask you, let's see. 
Uh, Wilber, what's your favorite season? In my case, my favorite season is summer. What's your favorite season, Wilber? Um, sinceramente no mucho lo entendí. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite season means ¿Cuál es tu temporada favorita? Tenemos summer, winter, um, fall, and spring. En mi caso, yo le dije, my favorite season is summer. Mi temporada favorita es verano. What's yours? ¿Cuál es la suya? What's yours? Um, my... ¿Cómo se pronuncia favorito? Favorite. Favorite. Ajá. My favorite is summer. Season? Uh, la... Sí, lo dije bien. Yes, yes, yes. Ajá. Yeah, that's what it is, uh -huh. you know. What about, what about Omar Luzardo? What's your favorite season? My favorite season is uh, summer. Summer. Why? Why summer? Mm, for like, uh, because, I like it. Because? <laughs> porque, <laughs> in my uh, case, <laughs> because, because there is no rain. Porque no hay uh, lluvia, por eso me gusta. <laughs> there is no rain. Okay. Okay. Huh? okay. <laughs> Ok, that's in my case, ok. Alright, guys, bye. Entonces, esto es lo que vamos a continuar viendo mañana, ok. Uh, tomorrow. Así que, si tienen preguntas, les digo, escríbanmela, escríbanlas y mañana me las pueden hacer al principio de la clase también, ok. Así que, chicos, traten de repasar ahí lo que, puede, lo que puedan, please. Eh, y nos vemos tomorrow. We see us tomorrow, ok. <laughs> ok, guys. So, bye-bye, guys. You guys take care and enjoy the rest of your night, okay? Good night. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. 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 Good night.